Hello everyone. Today I have fun as a sidelight on screen. So equation that we have 5 plus 2 square root 6 all power x square minus 3 plus 5 minus 2 square root 6 all power x square minus 3 is equal 10. Before we go to the solution, please don't forget like, share, and subscribe my channel and turn on notification bell for more exciting videos. And now we go to the solution together. Okay, now we check this equation. It has the similar basic. We only change plus and minus to solve this equation form like this. We must take this, multiply this. Then we have by 5 plus 2 square root 6 and multiply 5 minus 2 square root 6. This, we can use the rule that we have a plus b is a multiply a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So 5 plus 2 square root 6 and multiply 5 minus 2 square root 6, we get 5 squares minus 2 square root 6 all square. And this 5 squares equal 25. And 2 square root 6 squares equal 24. So we get 25 minus 24 and it's equal 1. So this equal 1. That's we have this multiply this equal 1. We can find this term or this term. So this I find this term. I only divide both sides of this equation by 5 plus 2 square root 6. And we get 5 minus 2 square root 6 equal 1 divided by 5 plus 2 square root 6. And now this 5 minus 2 square root 6, I substitute it by 1 over 5 plus 2 square root 6. So I get 5 plus 2 square root 6 all power a square minus 3 plus 1 over 5 plus 2 square root 6 all powers x square minus 3 equal 10. And this, we can use the rule that we have a over b power n is equal a power n over b power n. So this, we get 1 power a square minus 3 over 5 plus 2 square root 6 or a square minus 3. This is question. Okay. Now we see this 5 plus 2 square root 6 or power a square minus 3. And this also like this. It has the same. So to solve this, we must use substitute this by t. So substitute 5 plus 2 square root 6 all power x square minus 3 by t. That t is positive because it's exponential function. Okay, now we get this t plus 1 over t is equal to 10. Then we substitute this by t and substitute this by t. And now I multiply both sides of this equation by t. So I get t squares and plus this we simplify t so we get 1 and this 10 multiply t we get 10 t. And then I change 10 t from the right hand side to the left hand side. So I get t squared minus 10 t plus 1 equals 0. And this, we can use discriminants. 
so we get if this does is constant second degree so we get t is equal minus b plus and minus square d square minus 4 a c over 2 a okay now we get t is equal this that we have b equal 10 so we get this minus minus 10 so it's about 10 and plus and minus this we get minus 10 all squares but it's minus so i don't write it because minus squares is also positive then this minus Force and multiply a is equal to one and c is equal to one and four multiply one and multiply one and these twos and multiply a is equal to one so I write is one and this ten squares is equal to one hundred and this four multiply one multiply one is equal to four and one hundred minus four is equal to ninety six. So I get 10 plus and minus square root 96 over 2. We know this. Square root 96 is equal to 16 multiplied 6. And 16 is equal to square. So I can take it out of square root so I get 4 square root 6. So this, if you get 10 plus and minus 4 square root 6 over 2 and then I divide it by 2 and then divide it by 2 so I get 5 plus and minus 2 square root 6 so this equals 5 plus and minus 2 square root 6 okay now if this is equal 5 plus 2 square root 6 then we know that t this equals 5 plus 2 square root 6 all powers a square minus 3 so we get 5 plus 2 square root 6 all a square minus 3 is equal to 5 plus 2 square root 6 okay we see this if we have a power x equal a power y so we get x is equal to y and this 5 plus 2 square root 6 is other so that this is power 1 so I can write it x square minus 3 is equal to 1 and then I change minus 3 from the left hand side to the right hand side so we get minus and this plus and 3 plus 1 is equal 4 so we get x squared is equal 4 and then we get x is equal plus and minus square root 4 and a squared plus and minus 2 and now we use t is equal 5 minus 2 square root 6 if t is equal 5 minus 2 square root 6 so we get 5 plus 2 square root 6 all power a square minus 3 is equal 5 minus 2 square root 6. We know this 5 minus 2 square root 6 is equal 1 over 5 plus 2 square root 6. So I replace it in this. So we get 5 plus 2 square root 6 all power a square minus 3 is equal 1 over 5 plus 2 square root 6. And this is power 1 so if I change it from the dominant to so is the number so we get it powers minus 1 okay so we get 5 plus 2 square root 6 e power minus 1 and this we use like this question so we get a square minus 3 is equal minus 1 and I change minus 3 from the left hand side to the right hand side we get plus 3 and plus 3 is minus 1, we get 2. So x squared is equal to 2. And we get x is equal plus and minus square root 2. So we get this also the root. And this also the root. Thus, 
H e square plus and minus 2 and H e square plus and minus square 2 is our solution. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more exciting videos. Goodbye.